thank you for coming to the YouTube channel, Mr. Professor or Kyosu Aje in Korean. In this video, I'm going to show that the function fx is 1 over x is continuous on the set of positive real numbers by using the notion of the epsilon delta. First, let's check the former definition of a continuity. A real value of function f is continuous at x is equal to a if for every positive epsilon, there exists a positive delta such that the distance between x and a is less than delta guarantees that the distance between fx and fa less than epsilon. By using this definition, we want to show that the function fx is 1 over x is continuous on the set of a positive real number. By looking at the definition, we should consider positive epsilon first. Then we are looking for delta. Okay. So uh, we want by replacing fx 1 over x and fa and 1 over a. Okay. Uh, so the distance between 1 over x minus 1 over a less than epsilon. So we want to manipulate this part. Okay. So by reduce to a common denominator like this, Okay, so we want to make it like this. Well, by manipulating delta, probably we can have an upper bound. But what about the 1 over epsilon plus the ax? So we also want to have an upper bound for 1 over epsilon plus the ax. So how can we have an upper bound for 1 over epsilon plus the ax? So for example, if you have a 1 in here, I mean, maybe assume that let delta is equal to 1. Then maybe you can have x minus a is less than 1, greater than equal, greater than minus 1. Then you can have x is less than a plus 1 and bigger than a minus 1 in here. Then probably you can have a, like a upper bound for 1 over x, right? But the problem is here. If a is less than 1, then we cannot actually have an upper bound for 1 over x in here. Okay, So maybe you can start with the 2 in here, the similar situation in here. If a is less than 2, okay, then you still cannot have an upper bound for 1 over x. Okay, So probably you should think that, ah, we probably need to have a uh, delta may be related to also a in here. So I want to have a over 2 like this. Then from here, x minus a less than a over 2, bigger than minus a over 2. So x is less than 3a over 2 and bigger than a over 2 in here. So from here, we know that the absolute value x is bigger than a over 2 in here. Okay. So we can have a reciprocal like this. Okay. So actually, we want to have an upper bound 1 over absolute value ax. But a is a positive. So if you put a in here, then we have a 2 over a squared in here like that. Okay. That's very good like this. Okay, well, so from here, look at this. This is less than x minus a in here. And one over ax upper bound is this. So we can also multiply here to touch a square in here. Okay, now, actually our goal is to make less than epsilon in here. So if x minus a absolute value this one, is less than a square over 2, then probably we can cancel in here. Then we need also epsilon in here. So if the absolute value of x minus a less than epsilon times a square over 2, then this cancels. So we can make this part is less than epsilon in here. And some of you may think that, oh no, we actually have um, the absolute value x minus less than a over two. 
And now we also have epsilon x minus less than epsilon times a square over two. Then you might be kind of confused, but it's okay. If you can take delta is the minimum of those two, then okay, we can make this part less than epsilon, which completes the proof. Thank you for watching.